Welcome to another week of mold making. So this week, we're gonna be making these. Out of monster clay, we're gonna be doing leaves and how to apply them onto projects like this. And there's a couple other ones I can show you here too. So before we go into the, the video, I just wanna say that this video is dedicated to a fellow named Webb. Um, he's on the DIY forum, a long time member. And while I'm dedicating this to him, I don't know if he remembers or not, it's probably about two years ago, I made a mold of a cactus and it had two little arms coming up and one here and I thought I had a new way of just putting a little seam along the edges and being able to pull that out. Anyway, long story, he looked at it and he said on the forum, he said, it's never gonna work. And I said, it totally will. And he says, I bet you." And I said, yeah, well, it's gonna work. Well, guess what? Didn't work. <laughs> I got it off. I made one cast, had to peel it off with some uh, channel locks and pull a dick. I worked up a sweat getting it off. So I had always told him, I said, I'd run naked up and down by his house and uh, say I'm a stupid Canadian. But he told me it's a highway. So uh, I had to come to something else. So, so I was thinking what I could do. So my punishment's going to be, if anybody knows who this guy is, this is for the uh, mascot for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Uh, the best college football uh, franchise in the States. They're awesome. Lots of national championships. So for Webb, in honor of you, I'll wear this shirt as often as I can through the year. And that's my penance for uh, screwing up and not listening to the, uh, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Webb. Uh, and anybody who wants to know who Webb is can go to the forum and check him out. And that's DIYforums.com. Uh, do, do it yourself, molds.com. Okay, I'll put the link in the description down below. Okay, gang, now on we go with today's vid. Okay, gang, so here we are. We're ready to uh, make a few up. So while my clay is softening, so I'm just using an old, little old pot, a little tiny burner there. Don't <laughs> excuse the mess. It is a little sloppy. Um, there are warnings on the label. This, this, hot, this melts pretty quick, uh, so no high heat. They give you suggestions. You can use a crock pot or like a double boiler or something on your stove. I just go really low and slow. Uh, you don't want it to boil. Um, I think it contains a lot of paraffin or a lot of wax, I think, and I think you've got a good chance of it catching fire. So. Just be careful, I, I liken it to my old chefing days. It's like tempering chocolate. Um, so just low and slow, just put it on the side. I just shaved some off a block like this. This is the monster clay. Just got this crappy old knife here and I'll just take a, as long as it's room temperature, your clay. I use the medium monster clay. You just peel thin little pieces off, dump it down into your pot. So you're good to go. But like I said, you don't, you don't want to boil this stuff up. Be nasty, I think. So these are the latex skins. And I've shown these in some past videos, how I do these. This is by taking, right, an actual leaf and siliconing it down to your table, upside down, right? So you're gonna be, you're gonna be doing the back. Um, these are kind of quick and down and dirty. It's uh, just, a couple coats of regular latex on it, you know, so you're this way. Then I've used some black rubber crumb to build up a thick layer. And then I think I put one layer on top of that of just plain. So it's only about four or five layers thick, these things. <clears throat> I'm not gonna hide from you what can happen, but this is a piece that I've done, uh, I've used quite a bit, probably made about 30 leaves out of this little one here. And if you can see what's happening is that top layer of rubber is coming off. I think it's just reacting with the, the heat from your, uh, the clay. So uh, I, I don't think they'll last forever, these things, but to me, they're just ch cheap, quick and dirty. And if I get 30 or what out of one, to me, that's a lot. I've got tons. I made a whole bunch of them in the fall, so I'm not too worried about losing them. But just something to keep in mind, I don't think they're a permanent, if you're using this technique, uh, I don't think they're gonna be a good long-term mold for you, uh, but get out of it what you can, right? So 
today we're just going to be doing, I'll do some quick ones here. So I've got a big maple leaf right here. Uh, I think that's a lilac tree and just a small maple right there. So I'm going to show you what I do. So I'm, I'm almost, almost there. Like I said, just like tempering chocolate, you don't want this bubbling away on the stove. Um, if you get it over the pot and onto the burner, it is pretty stinky. So maybe work somewhere where it's a good ventilated room, a big room, or have a fan running. I've got a fan running over there. Or if it's warm enough, you just open up your door or a window and get a good breeze going through. So you can see it's melting. This is like a cooking class. Watch me do my cord there for my microphone. Okay, so we're pretty close to getting ready to go. You just don't want a big chunk falling out when you do this. So you'll see as I pour it, um, it will harden up quite quick. And you do have to move a little, a little fast with this. Just want to make sure I'm in frame with this thing here. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to pour a little stream across it. And then spread it out quickly to all the points. There we go. I've found if you, uh, if you miss a spot, you, do, you will get a little line across your piece. It's not that noticeable, but so I'm just using this little, little baker's palette thing or an artist palette. So again, I want to start successively building up layers. All right, so I'm going to move it out to the points again. Once you've got that first initial coat on, then you're just building up layers on top. So anyway, you get the idea what I'm doing here. I'll do this five or six times. You know, you want to build it up like an eighth of an inch is about the thickness I'm looking for, right? So here I can do this one. I'll bring this one into frame over here. Like I said, that first go, you want to sort of get everything covered. So now I'm just building up layers. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, how fast it sets. So if I wait just a second, I can see this one here. It's uh, already setting up. So is this one. So it's pretty quick. And in the next video, you'll see, I'll show you how to demold these little guys. All right. Okay, gang going to show you how to strip one of these off here. I'm such a knob. I did this earlier and I left my radio blaring and then I get a copyright strike on my YouTube video if I leave it on. So anyway, I'll just show you quick. Flip it over. Just start giving it a little pull on the edges to get it going. This sat probably for a half an hour just near a fan so I had some nice air going on it. So once you get it sort of going, like this guy is, why I'm wearing a glove, you'll see it in the later videos too, is because just the warmth of your hand, you don't want to leave any fingerprints on, like clay is so unforgiving sometimes, and if you would grab this with your hand, you're going to leave a, a, a thumbprint or something that's going to show up on your final piece. So I just like to wear a glove so I don't leave any prints behind. There we go. So you can sort of see how easy that all came off. There. So then of course, of course, of course, you're just gonna grab your little utility knife and then you're just gonna cut around the outline of your piece. To get your final look. I won't do the whole thing, but I'll just give you so you know the idea.
cuts pretty easy with a really sharp utility knife. So you get the idea of what I'm doing there. So you can see it's sort of taking shape and then you'll proceed over to your project. Okay gang, next step. Gang, okay we're here, we're ready for application now. So move the camera so hopefully I can keep my my big ass body out of the way enough that you can see what I'm doing here. So here's the idea is I've got the big maple leaves going around in between. It's going to get a smaller one. So what I've done is I've just held it. I want the tip to meet the crest here on the top of the bowl. So I've just held it, taken a pencil, just traced roughly the uh, outline of the leaf so I know where to apply my uh, my clay to stick it on. So I'm going to explain this a little bit, what I'm going to do, because I'll try not to talk while I'm doing it, is see this little patch here is I'm going to take some of the this is melted monster clay, and I'm just gonna give it a couple back and forth until it gets more like a paste, and then I'm gonna apply it just onto here, and then I'm gonna quickly, I'm gonna heat it up with, uh, reheat it again with my hair blower, and then you'll see, you'll see a watch what I'll be doing. So okay, I'm just gonna go ahead, just gonna work that back and forth. It's gonna cool a little bit and get thicker, and it's just easier to apply without it dripping all over your piece. So again, it's back and forth. You'll see it cool off. It's getting thick. So this is what's gonna stick your leaf to the project, right? This is sealed plaster is what I've got here. Okay, so now it's going to get noisy, so I'm going to warm this up, and then you'll see how I'll deal with it. I'm going right to the point first. Okay, now I'm going to apply. Now I'm just going to gently warm up the rest of the project. The leaf there. So as it warms, as it warms, you can slowly start pressing it down onto the plaster. You don't want to use a heat gun on this. It'll be too hot, as well as you don't want to put this on high. You don't want to melt it, you just want to soften it. Okay, so now it's stuck on. I've got it on to where I wanted it. The point's meeting the crest up here. So like I said, you don't want to put this on high and you don't want to use a heat gun because it'll be too hot and you're going to melt it really quick. This has a really low melting. It doesn't take much to uh, melt this stuff down. So just go on, on low on a hair dryer and slowly just start pushing it down in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push down the edges right tight to the piece because I don't want any undercuts because when I go to the rubber, the rubber is going to go under those little sides of the leaves if I don't deal with it. And when you demold, you're going to rip off all the edges of your leaves. 
So now you're gonna go back and just push them back on. There, so that's that. So now it's all sealed. Let's see if I can get you a little closer here with the camera. So there you go. You can see where I've pushed on these other ones here. I've pushed the edges in. And you just want to seal it tight so you're not going to get any undercuts before you go to rubber. Okay? Well, that's sort of how it's shaping up. It's looking pretty good, I think. And that's gonna go with that maple leaf base and the little topper for it. Okie doke. Hey gang, okay, here's the completed project. Or projects, I'll show you the other one in a sec. I always get hell if I don't put the finished piece on. Everybody gives me grief. So here we go. That's a completed Canada one. And then here's, this is the leaf collage. This was a lot of work. Trust me. But I like how it looks. I think it's going to look awesome when it's poured with a nice stain on it. I think it's going to look great. I just put a few on the inside just to tail over. I kind of like that look. Okay, gang. So that's the finished pieces. Thanks for watching. Thank you.